Hello everyone. Welcome to GK Today's YouTube channel. We are starting a series of general studies videos on several subjects, keeping focus on all examinations including UPSC prelims exam and other exams conducted by UPSC, SSC, State Public Service Commissions and NET and SLET examinations. The first subject we have taken up is biology. My name is Ritrisha and I have planned to put around 40 videos in this series covering various aspects of biology for general science. Today's video is on various branches of biology. So how we do this is we take each branch of biology alphabetically. We go from A to Z and in this particular tutorial we will make a run from A to K. So starting with A. The first is aerobiology which is the science of airborne organisms and organic particles. It is an interdisciplinary subject meaning it includes a lot of different branches of biology like virology, bacteriology etc. The next is agriculture which is of course the study of producing crops and raising livestock. It is a multidimensional subject meaning it covers a lot of things and can be considered a branch, branch of science on its own. And it has several sub branches like agronomy, soil science, agricultural chemistry, horticulture, etc. It is also closely overlapped with branches of zoology dealing with insects and roundworms. Next is agronomy, which is the branch of agriculture which deals with science and technology which is used in producing and using plants for food, fiber, feed, etc. It is strictly related to plant products and does not include animals. Agronomics is agricultural plus economics. It is the use of field of economics and its concepts to optimize production and distribution of food and fiber. It is used to optimize a land use and maximize production. Next is agroecology, which is the branch of biology which deals with study of grasses. There are several crops like wheat, rice, barley, etc. which are essentially grasses and these deals with them. Next is arachnology which is of course a study of arachnids which is a branch of insects which includes spiders, ticks, etc. There are a lot of families of arachnids like ticks and mites in which case it's called ecology. Study of just spiders is arachnology and study of scorpions is scorpiology. Next is adenology. Adenology is the study of glands, adeno meaning glands. And arthology, if anybody has heard of arthritis, they know it's related to joints. So this is the study of joints, where arthro means joints. Astecology is the investigation analysis of crayfish. Crayfish is a kind of sea animal. Horticology is the study of ecology of a particular species. Let's take a quiz. Question 1. Agronomics is the study of agronomy. Is it true or false? And we know it's false because agronomy is the branch that deals with science and technology used in producing and using plants for food, fiber, etc. Whereas agronomics uses concepts of economics to better production and distribution of food. Agroastrology is a branch of astrology, which is of course false because astrology deals with position of celestial bodies and how they affect our lives, whereas agroastrology deals with grasses. Next is B. We have biomechatronics. It is an interdisciplinary science which helps integrate mechanical and electronics elements with parts of biological organisms. Which means it includes mechanics, electronics, but it has to include robotics and neuroscience as well. It helps people with disabilities due to trauma, disease or even birth defects to uh, get bionic arms or legs which helps them lead a normal life. Another is bionomics, which deals with organisms and how they live in their natural habitat. 
Bryology is the study of mosses and liverworts. Quiz time. Question 1. Biomechatronics is a branch of bionomics which is false. Why? Because biomechatronics deals with integrating mechanical and electronic elements with parts of biological organisms whereas bionomics is the study of organisms in the natural habitat. Next is C. Cardiology, of course, the study of a heart. It deals with any disease or abnormalities of the heart. Chronobiology deals with rhythms. Any bodily rhythms which is cyclic like uh, heartbeats or your blood pumping, which is related, of course, uh, is a part of chronobiology. Craniology study of skulls. It deals with shape and size of the human skull. Another term for it is phrenology. Cytology is the study of living cells and is also known as cell biology. Cryobiology is study of effects of low temperature on living things. Cryo meaning low temperature. Coleopterology is study of beetles of the family Coleoptera. It is a branch of entomology which is the study of insects. Cetology is the study of whales, dolphins, or porpoises, which are all mammals that live in water. It's a branch of zoology. Cryptozoology, it's a zero science. It tries to prove existence of animals that uh, exist in folk tales, say the unicorn or the Loch Ness monster. Sinology, on the other hand, is study of canines or domesticated dogs. So question 1 for the quiz, what is the difference between sinology and cytology? Option A is one deals with eyes and the other with plasma. Option B is one deals with dogs and the other with living cells. We already know sinology deals with dogs and cytology with living cells. So the answer is of course B. D. Dipterology. It's the study of flies. Diptera is a large family of flies having almost 1 million species. Dendrochronology is the study of dating trees. How do they do that? By counting the rings on the trees. This time, dipterology is the study of A. Digestive issues. B. Flies, which is the correct answer. E. Entomology. We have studied a lot about insects. All those branches of biology about insects are a part of entomology, which is the study of the whole range of insects. Entomo in Greek means insects and logia means study of. Arachnology or melitology or dipterology are all parts of it. Ecrinology, which is the study of secretions. It's a branch of medicine and deals with any and every bodily secretion. Edaphology is the study of influence on soil on living things. For example, cotton thrives on black soil is a part of edaphology. It is one of the main, one of the two main soil sciences, the other being pedology, which we'll take up when we study P. Eminology is the study of menstruation and related disorders. So something like PCOS would be a part of it. Endocrinology is the study of the endocrine system. It specializes in endocrine secretions and hormones. Entozoology is the study of parasites living in larger organisms, for example, stomach parasites like intestinal worms. Enzymology, as the name suggests, is the study of enzymes. It's a branch of biochemistry. Epidemiology is the study of diseases and epidemics. It deals with how the disease started, how it was distributed and how to possibly control it. Exobiology deals with extraterrestrials. It deals with the possibility of life in other planets. Etiology deals with study of cause and manner of causation of disease. For example, influenza, the cause being a virus and the manner of causation, meaning having a runny nose or uh, it is a communicable disease so it spreads from one person to another. This is etiology. Euthanics is the science of improving living conditions so that humans have better health. 
So entomo is the Greek word meaning what? A flies, B insects. We know entomology is study of insects. Hence the answer is B insects. Entozoology deals with animal behavior which is false. Why? Because entozoology is the study of parasites in living things. G. We start with gastroenterology which is study of disorders of stomach and intestine. Nathology which is the study of masticatory system. Masticatory refers to all the elements involved in chewing like your teeth, your tongue or down your throat. Gastronomy is the art of fine dining. And gerontology is the study of old age. That is, it deals with particular problems which affect people after a certain age. So, notobiology is the study of animals and other organisms raised in a germ-free environment or animals where we know that these are the only germs they might have. Graminology is the scientific study of grasses. It's specific to the grass family of poke or graminae. Gynecology is the study of the female reproductive system and mammary glands. So what is the difference between gastroenterology and gastronomy? Option A, one deals with stomach and intestines while the other is about fine dining. Option B, one deals with stomach and the other with intestines. The correct answer of course is option A. Why? Because gastroenterology is the study of disorders of stomach and intestines while gastronomy is the art of fine dining. H. Halcology which is the study of ulcers and is a branch of medical science. Helminthology which is the study of parasitic worms and hematology which is the study and treatment of blood. It is also a branch of medicine. Hepatology, which is the study of liver, gallbladder, biliary tree and pancreas. They study the disorders affecting these body parts as well. Heredity, we know passing of traits from parents to young. It's a part of genetics. Heart pathology, study of amphibians and reptile, harpeton in Greek means reptile or creeping animal. Hippology, study of horses, hippos in Greek means horse. Histology, study of microscopic structure of tissues. And hygiestics is a branch of biology which deals with health and hygiene. So what is the difference between hepatology and herpetology? One deals with liver and the other with amphibians or one deals with reptiles and the other with amphibians. So answer is hepatology deals with liver, gallbladder, etc. Whereas herpetology deals with amphibians and reptiles. Hippology is the study of hippopotamuses. Is it true or false? Of course it's false because hippos in Greek means horses. I. So, immunology. Branch of medicine and biology concerned with immunity. Iridology is the study of iris to determine someone's health. Isopterology, which is the study of termites. And it is a branch of zoology. Isopterology is the study of isotopes. A true or false? We know it's false because it is the study of termites. K. Karyology, which is the study of cell nuclei. And tenology, which is the science of putting people to death. Okay, so the science of putting people to death is called A. Mortology, B. Tenology. And the answer is of course tenology. Next is L. 
laryngology, which is the study of larynx and its diseases. It is a branch of medical science. Lepidopterology, which is the study of moths and the three superfamilies of butterflies. It is a branch of entomology or the study of insects. Leprology is the study of leprosy and limicology is the study of slugs. It is a branch of zoology. Limnobiology is the study of life in freshwater ecosystems. Limnology is the study of freshwater bodies. So notice the difference. Limnology study of freshwater bodies and limnobiology the study of life in it. Lichenology is the study of lichens. Lichens are organisms which exist by the symbiosis of two different organisms. Symbiosis means two organisms which exist together and help each other survive. Usually lichens have one fungi and another organism which can perform photosynthesis so as to sustain the fungi. Quiz time. Limnology and limnobiology are related which is of course true, limnology being the study of freshwater bodies and limnobiology being the study of organisms in those freshwater bodies. M. Melitology is the study of bees. Melita in Greek means bee. Apiology is the study of honeybees and a part of metallurgy. And apicology is the study of honeybee ecology. Apiculture is the raising of bees. Muscology is the study of mosses. Mycology is the study of fungi. Myology is the study of the structure and arrangement of muscles and how they function. So notice the difference. Mycology is the study of fungi and myology is the study of structure, arrangement and action of muscles. Marmicology is the study of ants. Mammalogy is the study of mammals. Mastology is the study of mammary glands or breasts. Malariology, as the name suggests, is the scientific study of malaria. Malacology is the study of mollusks. Microbiology is the study of microscopic organisms such as bacteria, viruses, etc. Microphytology is the study of microscopic plants. Phyto means plants. So what is melitology the study of? A mollusks, B bees and the answer is bees. Mammalogy is the study of mammary glands, true or false? The answer is false. The study of mammary glands is masticology and mammalogy is the study of mammals. N Nematology is the study of roundworms. Neonatology is the study of newborn infants. It is a specialty of pediatrics. Neosology is the study of newborn birds. And nephrology is the study of kidneys. Neurobiology is the study of the nervous system. It's dealing with an uh, organization of nerve cells and it's how they form functional units. Neurology is the study of disorders of the nervous system. It is a branch of medicine. Nosology is the study of classification of diseases. And it's a branch of medical science. Quiz time. What are nematodes? They are spiders or roundworms? And the answer is roundworms because nematology is the study of roundworms. O. Ophthalmology is the study of anatomy and physiology of diseases of the eyeball. Optology is the study of testing eyes for lenses, whereas optometry is the science of examining the eye for defects and abnormalities. Otology is the study of the anatomy and diseases of the ear. Odontology is the study of the structure and diseases of teeth. Odonatology, on the other hand, is the study of dragonflies and often damselflies. Odontology and odonatology sound similar, but they mean drastically different. 
odontology being about teeth and odontology about dragonflies. Orthopterology is the study of orthoptera which is a uh, species containing grasshoppers. It's a group of species of grasshoppers, crickets, locusts and other insects. Ophiology is the study of snakes. It is also a branch of zoology. Ornithology is the study of birds. It is also known as bird load. Oology is the study of collecting bird eggs. And orchidology, as the name suggests, is the study of orchids. Osteology is the study of the structure and function of skeleton and other bony parts. Obstetrics is the branch of medicine that is concerned with childbirth. Includes surgery, concerned with childbirth and midwifery as well. Oncology is the study and treatment of tumors. And olfactology is the study of smells and the sense of smell. Olfactory senses mean your sense of smell. Quest time. Odontology is the study of teeth. True or false? And the answer is false. Odontology is the study of dragonflies and damselflies. Odontology is the study of teeth. The study of bird eggs is A. Oology, B. Eology. Answer is oology. Eology is not a word. Going to P. Pageology is the study of children's behavior and their development. Pedinosology is the study of children's diseases, also known as pediatrics. Paleobiology is the study of fossils, fossils of animals and plants. Paleo meaning historic. Palynology is the study of pollen grains and other spores, usually the ones found during archaeological surveys or geological surveys. Pathology is the study of diseases. Pathos in Greek means suffering. Periodontics is the study of gums or the structures which hold your teeth or which surround your teeth. Phycology is the study of algae. Phycos in Greek means seaweed. And physiology is the study of the way a body of a living organism functions. Pteridology is the study of how feathers are distributed on a bird, whereas phylotoxy is the study of how leaves are arranged on stems or branches. Phytology is the study of plants. It is also known as botany. Piscatology or Piscatology, I'm not exactly sure how it's pronounced, but it's a study of fishes. Pisces meaning fish. And Podology is the study of foot, ankle and lower extremities of our bodies. Pomology is the science of growing food. Proctology is the study of anus and rectum. It is a branch of medicine. Protistology is the study of protists. Protists are a group of highly diverse eukaryotic organisms. Eukaryotic organisms are whose cells have membranes. Pteridology is the study of ferns and other related plants. Pyrotology is the study of fevers. Pyro means fire since during fevers we get high temperature hence the name pyrotology. Quiz time. Pathonosology is the study of payments, true or false? And the answer is false because it is the study of children's diseases. And the study of anuses is called A. Proctology, B. Rectology and we know the answer is Proctology. With R, we come to Rhinology, which is the science focused on treatment of diseases and disorders which affect the nasal cavity and sinuses. So basically whatever connects your nose to the other body parts that area it is concerned a rhinology is concerned with that area it is a branch of medicine coming to s we have serology which is the study of lizards we have sarcology which is the study of the soft and fleshy parts of our bodies serology which is the study of blood serum and sexology which is the study of sexual behavior Sericulture is the science of silk farming 
It involves rearing of silkworms and how to produce raw silk. Serpentology as the name suggests is the study of snakes, serpent meaning snake. Spermology is the study of seeds. Sphagnology is the study of sphagna or peach moss. It's a kind of uh, organism. Spigmology is the study of pulses. So sphagnology and spigmology sound similar but they are different. Spagnology being the study of peat moss and spigmology being the study of pulses. Cynicology is the study of ecological communities. So how different species and plants together form a community. Quiz time. Sericulture is the science of A. Silk farming, B. Serums. And we know the answer is silk farming. Coming to T. Taxonomy is the study of classification of plants and animals and other microorganisms. So taxo, anywhere you find the word taxo or taxi, it usually refers to classification. Teuthology is the study of cephalopods. Cephalopods are organisms of the molluscan class, uh, cephalopoda such as squid, octopus, etc. Therology is the scientific study of mammals, very similar to mammalogy. Tocology is the science of childbirth and teratology deals with birth defects. Quiz time. Teuthology is the science of teeth, true or false? And the answer is false because it is the science of cephalopods like octopuses or squids. Coming to you. Urology is the study of the well-being of urinary tract and the male reproductive tract. And finally, with Z, zoo geography deals with geographical distribution of animals. So, uh, which animal is found in which part of the globe? It is a branch of zoology. Zoo geology, on the other hand, discusses relationship of extinct animals and animal fossils to geology, like what kind of soil might hold what kind of fossil. Zoo physiology is the study of physiology of animals and zoo phytology is the study of plant like animals. So there are animals which behave like plants but are actually not plants such as corals and sponges. Zoo physics it's the study of physical principle underlying the structure and uses of the organs and animals. So why an organ is shaped the way it is and how it functions. Zoo taxi, as we had discussed, taxi is about classification. So this is the science of classifying animals. And zoo techniques is how to manage domestic animals. It includes breeding, handling and keeping. Zoology is the study of animals. Zoonosology is the study of diseases in animals. So nosology we studied was about diseases causes and uh, classifications. So here zoonosology is the study of diseases of animals. Zoopathology deals with diseases in lower animals or animals which are lower down the food chain. Zoo semiotics study of communication between animals. So how dogs bark or cats might purr to communicate among themselves. Thank you very much for tuning in. If you like this presentation, kindly do share it. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for the next video on contributions of important biologists.